Praise the Lord. Welcome to Jaffe Fidelis TV. My name is Jaffe Fidelis. God's will is for you to be healed every time with any kind of sickness that the enemy may put on you. I'm reading from Matthew chapter 10 verse 1. This scripture also blessed me. We're reading in our devotion today at home and we're reading from this scripture and something stood out for me. He said, and when he had called unto himself his twelve disciples, listen, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Wow. He gave them power against. He gave them power against. Now listen. You cannot give power to people to be against anything that you are not against. How do I know Jesus is against sicknesses and diseases? An evil spirit. He called his 12 disciples. Gave them power against. Hey, hey. Not power to support power to be against unclean spirits all manner of sickness and all manner of disease now listen listen i want to read, i want to read something for you jesus said in the book of matthew chapter 12 from 25 to 26 that a house divided against each other will fall he said satan cannot cast out satan in other words, God cannot give them power to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease if it's behind the disease. It's a kingdom divided against each other. So he gave them power against sicknesses because he was against sicknesses. My brother, my sister, wake up. God is not the man behind your sickness. He has given me power against your sickness. And as I minister today, every manner of plagues in your body, by this power we have been given to in the church, I command the power of that disease to be broken in your life, to be broken in your body in the name of Jesus. Let me read something to you. Listen, listen. What does it mean to be against now or what did jesus do when he gave them power against those sicknesses he set them in opposite position against sickness he told them take an opposite position over every disease you meet over every sickness you meet now he revealed something to me he revealed something to me i call it Jesus revealed something here from that scripture. He revealed what I call the mystery of the source. A source cannot at the same place bring sweet and bitter water at the same time. What does that, what does that suggest to me? When God gave them power to end sickness, he was saying, sickness is not from me. I am not the source of sickness. Can I pray for you? every source of that sickness let it dry jesus revealed it he revealed the mystery of the source what does the mystery of the source say the mystery of the source says the mystery of the source said it said to me that god cannot be the healer at the same time the oppressor it cannot be the healer at the same time the afflictor as you are watching this video, as you are watching me on, on, on this television broadcast today, I bring good news to you. Your healing has come. James chapter 3, you read from verse, from verse uh, 8 to 12. The, the apostle James was saying that you need to understand the mystery of the source. A source cannot bring from the same source bitter water and sweet water at the same time. He said, a fig tree cannot bring a a a a a a a devouring fruit from it because it's, it cannot be the source is different so as we pray today take your healing i rebuke that sickness in your body i rebuke that pain in your body because it's not behind your sickness every other every source of that sickness
foundational source, ancestral source, I command it to dry up. Every source of that sickness, by what you ate, by what you drink, drank, I command it to dry up. I command from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, be healed, be made whole. I rebuke affliction, I rebuke disease, I rebuke pain, I command life, I command healing. Because Jesus came that they may recover all, I command recovery for you. Thank you, Father. You pray that prayer and nobody again. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive my sins. Forgive my Savior. Be my Lord and my Savior today. Thank you for hearing my prayer in the name of Jesus. Now, write me. There are phone numbers there. Call this number or send a text message for partnership, for counseling, for prayer. There's an email address there. Write me and share your testimony and, and, and share with us what God is doing in your life. And dear, come your way next time. Don't forget that when Jesus gave them power against sicknesses, uh, against sicknesses and disease, he placed them in opposite position against sickness. That understanding can bring breakthrough in your health. Dear, come your way next time. Keep on living in health. And don't forget that every day is a healing day. God bless you.